And it's time to move on for Dis to Disney, rather, because those third quarter earnings were all about ESPN and Toy Story 3. They helped Disney, the world's biggest media company, beat analyst estimates. On the phone with us this morning is Wonderlic Securities analyst Matt Harrigan. Matt has been recognized by the Wall Street Journal for his accuracy on media stocks. Matt, good morning to you. You've got a hold rating on Disney. Are these results enough to take you to a buy? No, I think certainly not. I mean, this is the best you know, gaggle of media brands out there, but they probably wouldn't be, appreciate being characterized as a, a glamour cyclical, but they, they are you know, to a certain extent. I mean, certainly ESPN and, and Pixar are, are, are executing well, but uh, you, you can see that some other elements within the businesses are, are still in transition, and I think that management would be the first to recognize that the economy r remains fragile, and that has inevitable implications for the broadcasting business, for ESPN and the parks. Uh, Matt, is there an earnings quality issue with ESPN because there was a lot of, or at least around the timing of the recognition of deferred revenue, some 335 million bucks? Well, the, the headline number was uh, co cosmetically, you know, higher than, than a lot of people would have thought, but it was still a nice beat, even if you separated out the deferred revenue adjustment. I mean, that was just a function of the timing of some showing of some uh, sports programming, and uh, it's actually a bit, you know, binary. You can cross a, a little threshold in terms of hours delivered; it can have a major impact. But even if you separate that out, I mean, ESPN had a spectacular uh, quarter, uh, you know, the execution of the World Cup and and uh, and the NBA. You know, finals uh, with, over at ABC Network, and uh, you know, there's no question that that's a, a, a dominant you know franchise, and they're in a great position to grow both affiliates and advertising. Matt, I'm afraid we got to run to a commercial break. Matt Harrigan on Disney earnings.